hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to fry a very tasty red sea bream fish this is a very easy recipe and trust me you are always going to use it so if you are interested please keep on watching so for this recipe i have got here um fresh red sea bream it also work with a different fish type if you like I am also going to use a quarter of a medium sized onion for the seasoning I have got here garlic granules I have got jumbo fish stock I am also going to use jumbo crayfish flavor stock I have got some chili powder and some salt to taste and one special seasoning that I have got here is dried shito have you ever heard of this it's dried shito and I'm going to sprinkle it all over my fish and I'll be needing just a little bit of plain flour so now let's get started so I have got my glass bowl here and I am going to fill it up with some fresh cold water depending on the quantity of fish that I have got and I have got a lot here so I am going to fill it up with a lot of water and then I am going to add half a tablespoon of salt you can also use sea salt if you prefer or even red sea salt if you have it doesn't really matter and then I am going to give this a good stir and this is where everything begins so now place your fish in the salt water okay and once you have done that just give it a little stir and trust me oh this fish will taste great <laughs> all right so just a little stir and then we are going to let this sit at room temperature for about half an hour or 30 minutes all right dear friends now the 30 minutes are up and i am going to remove my fish from the salted water and i'm going to place it on kitchen towel okay and then we are going to pat dry it we are not going to season it straight away okay so again with some kitchen towel just start to pat dry all the fish that you've got here okay right and then we'll be thinking about the seasoning all right so now that my fish is dry i'm going to put them back in my glass bowl and then I'll be seasoning my fish and um, by the way this recipe uh, works with um, red snapper as well it works very well with that fish if you like it or if you can't find this one now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to it and then half a teaspoon of garlic granules then half a tablespoon of fish flavor stock and then half a tablespoon of crayfish seasoning and one tablespoon of chili powder and now you can mix the fish and the spices of seasoning together and by the way you don't have to follow my measurements it really depends on you how you like it you might want more garlic or more uh, crayfish or even more uh, chili powder so do as you please right now our fish is ready to be fried and by the way you can also cover it up with some cling film and leave it in the fridge for a few uh, minutes if you're not ready to fry it now all right so the next step is to add some fresh oil in a wok or a pan and i'm using vegetable oil and then we are going to add in our quarter of onion why am i doing that is because i want my fish to be 
very well flavored and trust me with the onion it's gonna be fantastic so let the onion fry for a few minutes about let's say two minutes and then add in some flour when I say adding some flour just sprinkle some flour on it and then add in the fish and let it fry on medium heat of course also do not forget to turn the fish over so that it does not burn I like fish that is not too fried I like it a bit soft but again it depends on you so here I'm going to make sure I turn all the fish over and then I'm going to let it fry a few more minutes and then I'm going to take it out of the oil just as you see here so this is how I like my fried fish have you also noted that I did not remove the onion from the oil I wanted more flavor but feel free to take it out of it and this is my fish here nicely fried and it smells so good this is the perfect fried fish trust me and here I'm showing you a close-up like so be winning every fish now look at this perfect fish and here comes the dried chito um, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this chito on it trust me it is very very hot it is dried but very very hot so <laughs> don't play games with this dried chito all right guys so this is my fish and here I'm just going to show you how um, it looks like on the inside look at this wonderful fried fish oh my god look at this this is how you want your red fish to look like this is how it's supposed to be fried all right guys thank you all for watching my video i was just sharing with you how i fry my red sea bream this is how i like it um if you want it a bit more fried please go ahead and leave it a little longer if you want it um flour coated just coat it in flour and then fry it if you don't want the onion skip that part so guys there are so many ways of frying fish and this is one of the uh, recipes so if you want to try it please go ahead and try it don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn your notifications bell on and i'll see you next time bye